Hello there, my name is Rachel, the first time you see my channel, I use sort of view cartoon series, anime series, so something, computer random, and today we're going to talk about Little Demon. This is a, basically an original series from FXX and Hulu, the sort of partnership of making this series, and now I'm going to talk about the first two episodes of this new show. And you have to say, I kind of was impressed because of how legitimately different it really is. In the very beginning, I wasn't sure what I was watching, basically how sort of cliche really was it really starts with basically knowing you have a main lead called Chrissy who actually is the Antichrist and her mom trying to hide her from the religious fanatics and also the devil itself but the more you keep watching the more you realize this show is so much more because the first episode is sort of a metaphor a sort of a messed up relationship and the daughter is between everything else and the daughter is just sort of tired of the BS the two parents that let her make her own choice she's old enough and that's basically the whole first episode and the second one is sort of understanding the parents understanding the mother or the daughter and the father their situation but I love it this is so complicated but at the same time so simple it's one of those things that's trying to make it funny but also relate the consequences what is Chrissy why she is so important these two different universes the angels and demons in the neutral ground of the earth it's just sort of fascinating because she had to sort of understand her situation especially she's a teenager she doesn't want to learn but I love it is sort of the performance that sort of realistic moments like the first time Chrissy actually used her denying powers and killed two bullies by accident and she's just like freaking out does no real but the moment she actually murdered those bullies it's sort of realistic you know love is not just gory just because the dark cartoon he has his weight someone dies you just see him blow him up like a gag actually you see him falling up Heart. That's her realistic kind of goo. Not just that, the relationship of the devil and her mom, Christy, that understanding they do care about a daughter, but at the same time, are you caring about her or are you running away with your problem? And this is what the show does so well. That sort of realistic sort of relationship with two adult uh, parents understand the situation. But the question is, is the devil is using the daughter, Christy, or not he actually care on using her body as a vessel so he could take over the whole world but at the same time you see the devil is more complicated also by voice by Dan DeVito and you know anything about Dan DeVito there's a type of guy who always chooses projects sort of wisely always sort of experimental is a guy always try something new or unique even that he'd been in the business so long that you don't really know what else he could come up with. That's why I love Dan DeVito because that sort of unexpected creativity I always have. But I love it, his performance being the devil is just so interesting because he plays it as a scumbag. That sort of, I'm your father, but at the same time, maybe using you, maybe not. And that sort of relation growing with her daughter that it is. Dan DeVito's own daughter and you believe their relationship they believe that there's sort of dilemma that Chrissy wants to trust his father but she's not stupid but at the same time she needs him to understand his abilities but I love it that Chrissy is still sort of a realistic teenager she's not stupid she is smart but once again who do I trust or her moral compass could be broken because she still not understand her situation grew completely because episode 2 shows that she wanted to use her demonic powers for good but at the same time good intentions become sort of horrific by accident and that is just so interesting about this series the first two episodes show Chrissy by accident become a, a monster or a good person or a saint because her decisions but because she's a half hybrid a demon and a human being her abilities go so haywire or are not understanding what she does do but I love it the most is the fact is the realistic moments the realistic moments that her mom trying to speak to her as a daughter not as a joke not as a bitch but as a mom even that she is sort of broken running away know what she did with Satan but I love it, it feels so realistic. Even the comedy is hit or miss because the comedy is funny, 
but not a laugh out funny. It's chuckles because they want to focus on more of the development of the characters. And it does so well because I do believe the devil as a human being, he wants to use her daughter, but at the same time, he doesn't. He has emotions, not sure what he wants. He love that her mom is also equally as interesting as the devil because she tried not to blame the Satan that much. She's taking responsibility, but at the same time, her responsibility is to protect her daughter. But her daughter points out, you keep running away, you keep moving town to town. Yes, to protect her. But protect her of what? How long that actually happened? And yet that's sort of the flaw of the logic of a broken marriage that you don't trust the other half and you know she needs the other half to help her raise the daughter and that's just fascinating because Chrissy is sort of a situation that she's complicated but doesn't know which side to go because each episode show that one day she had to choose to become a saint or a devil even though she's trying to do good, good intentions that can easily blur her, blur her face off because honestly her unpredictability and understanding her abilities is just sort of a question mark. Especially you have the religious fanatics who are trying to basically kill her. But I love it that it's that interesting that the religious people could be also wrong. Also the devil and the demons could be wrong. Even Chris's mom they could be legitimately wrong also. And that's why this show makes it so interesting. Because no one knows what is the right thing to do. And that's why I love these two first episodes. Of course, the animation is not amazing, mind-blowing. It's sort of kind of cheap-like, but it's sort of stilted. But they spent all their money where they really needed. The action scene, the gore, the horror. Oh my god, the horror. The, when things go violent, horrific way, they spent all the money on that scene. In new shows, they actually care. They want this to be mature yeah I mean mature they do show nudity I mean this all the Christy mom shows everything she took her close up to basically transfer herself to the plain world where the devil lives and she did this you think oh this is sort of pointless why she had to take her clothes but how she transferred herself to earth to the middle place middle place in between now words is because it's the only way to do it and that's why I love it it makes sense. Every little gore, every little blood, even a crisis, a time in the month accident, it makes sense. It grounds itself in that it's so incredible. Of course, I wish the company is stronger, but it's totally worth it. They're still sort of freaking out, but it works. You believe the performance, you believe the world, you believe why someone needs to sacrifice someone else to accomplish uh, their mission networks in this what I enjoy I am so impressed in fact anyone else what do you feel about this two episode if you seen it now of course I have to recommend it yes only if you're an adult or maybe a college student or teenager if you want but be warned this show have nudity and a lot of gore but it's one of kind of stuff that actually makes sense why someone need to kill why someone had to be naked it just makes sense and that's the thing kind of blew my mind because they grunt so well now I got nothing else to say just one question how do you feel about the series you think it's good bad tell me down below let me know honestly got nothing else to say just thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day bye